really simple to go and find activities to do outside when you are on your own or you don't know what to do or where to do it. All you really have to do is just ask yourself the question of whether or not you can join. This can apply to working out at the gym if you're wanting to get stronger, like ask the person what type of lift they're doing. From there, in all likelihood, they'll be willing to help. If not, like, no worries, but I've never run into a person myself personally that hasn't been wanting to help. I did this exact same thing the other day on my bike ride. I ended up going around, and I saw these girls that had a slack line, slack line set up, so I decided to ask them if I could join. And they were like, yeah, sure, by all means. We ended up playing a couple of games, like doing some balancing, trying to toss a volleyball back and forth to one another. We even did like this race that you can see on the thumbnail right here, where it's just like, we try to give the person in the middle high fives to see who would win and get there first. This was just one of the many occasions that I've had around being able to make new friends and have different conversations with people that I would have never originally had. Because when we think about it, all of us were strangers to begin with. The only person that you truly ever know when you're growing up is your mom and dad, or your moms and moms, or dads and dads, wherever, however your family is in those situations, along with like your siblings. Other than that, like everybody else is a stranger to you. Even those people are strangers to you when we think about it to begin with in the first place. So we have to go out into the world to be able to interact with other individuals, to be able to find those that share common interests with us. The girls that I was talking with, like they had fun, we played football, we played some like volleyball, soccer type of thing where like we picked the ball up. We ended up staying on the river as well too. And I had a great day hanging out with those individuals. And maybe you're wondering like, well, I can't do this, Caleb. Like that's easy for you to say. Like you've been doing this for your entire life. Like you go up and you talk with people and you just have conversations. I feel so ashamed, I feel so closed off. Like I can't do this type of thing that you do. And it's just like, I couldn't do it at first either. What I did was I just take, I took small little steps. So like I would sit in the park by myself and like just watch other people. I wouldn't necessarily go up and have these conversations with people at first. It's kind of, it's, I looked at it as I was exposing myself to this hard situation or the situation that I wanted to get good at. You can do the same thing yourself. You can go sit on a park bench or you can go out to a bar and you can just sit there by yourself. Maybe that's too much for you. And if that's too much for you, then start start at home. Like sit on your couch and visualize yourself going out and like having a conversation or just sitting at a bar doing something that you may find yourself that may be difficult or uncomfortable for yourself. As you do more of that, then you can start to increase those levels of difficulty so that then you can get to the point where you can interact with strangers and you can have a fun day with people that you've never met. Because as I was saying earlier, like we're all strangers when we get down to it. No two people know each other until like you start to have a conversation with that person. Then you find out whether or not like, okay, I like certain aspects or I don't like certain aspects. And then you start to drive with one another. Because even later in that day, I ended up finding another dude that was doing like backflips off the bridge at one of the lakes that I live by. So I asked him if I could join and I was able to do that as well too. So it's like you can take these small necessary steps to be able to help you improve your social skills or your fitness or your overall well-being. It's just a matter of like putting yourself in those situations that may seem quote unquote uncomfortable at first to somebody on the outside because they might be like, well, this is weird that this person just came up and started to ask like a question and wanted to join in this group. But it's like, if you don't have friends and this is the crazy part, there's 8 billion people in this world and 8 billion of them are lonely. Like they don't have the right people or the, they don't hang around with the right individuals. So my whole goal with what I wanted to help out with in this video is like, you can go find your tribe. You can go find those people anywhere that you are. It could be in the state that you live. It could be online. It could be anywhere on line, wherever it may be. But there's gonna be a live stream that I have coming up as well where I'm gonna be making some calls to some businesses to kind of help show that like, hey, you can just start a conversation with anyone anywhere because that's exactly what I do. And the best way that I have ever learned is one, from like consuming media online like you're consuming right now. And two is like implementing that knowledge in the actual world, like going out and like asking people like, what do they do, how do they do this? Can I join, can I not join? Like, I see that you're doing this lift at the gym. Like, can I help out? Or it's like, hey, I see that you're slacklining. Can I give it a try? Even if you don't know how to slackline, you don't know how to lift, like ask for help. Because one of the girls too, I didn't end up getting a shot or clip of this, but like her and I, like I helped her get able to find like her balance on the beam. And I was able to teach her and coach her in that regard to help her make it all the way across without having like very minimal effort by finding the focal point and the balance within her. Did the exact same thing at the gym the other day, a couple days ago when I was asking some dude like if I could have help with handstands, he helped me out. If you guys want to learn something, you just have to go up and ask. And I've come to realize that very few, very, very few people will ever go up and ask like a complete stranger how like they're doing a handstand or how they learned how to slackline or unicycle or juggle or ride a bike or whatever skill that you wanna learn, you can go do that by asking somebody that's already doing that said skill. In all likelihood, from my own personal experience, 
I found that people like to share the knowledge and the expertise that they have in the said field that they're doing because very few people end up wanting to listen to them. They're just waiting for their time to speak. So the best way that I've found to differentiate myself from all these other people and to be able to be more personable is by listening and asking questions and doing what somebody else is already doing and learning that specific skill or that specific trait as I'm there with them. And you can do the exact same thing by using those steps that I talked about earlier. Exposing yourself to maybe an uncomfortable situation. Like I said, if you can't go outside right now, sit on your couch and visualize yourself doing it. Once you do that for about a week or so, then go outside and do the thing that you visualize, like sit on the park bench and just sit there and watch like people play a game. I did this myself when I was first trying to get like over some social anxiety and anxiety and thoughts that I had within my own mind. And I would just like sit and it was far away. Like I watched people play volleyball, bro. Like I just watched them and that's all I did. And then from there, like it started to evolve with time, but it's like, you have to be patient with yourself. So it's like, then I, I got to the point where I was like, hey, let's let me just go ask this person. Like, let's let me ask and see if I can join in. And they were like, oh yeah, of course you can. Like you can play a game. Some people will say no, but like, if you never ask, the answer is always no. But like, I like tossing up the, tossing up the answer or the question to see what like, can I get a yes or can I get a no? And if I get a yes, awesome. If I get a no, like my life doesn't change in any way, shape or form because like it was a no regardless before me even asking. So like if you guys want to truly improve like your personal personalization communication skills, I highly recommend going out and like first visualizing, two, going out and physically doing like the said thing that slightly terrifies you, three, making those small little steps to get a little bit closer to those things that are discomforting to you, and four, actually doing that said task. As you do that within your own life, I can guarantee you that you will see progress and you will see change. It will take some time. It's not gonna happen overnight as a lot of people online are gonna be telling you like, oh, you can do this in five days or seven days or six weeks or whatever it is. Like this plan is like four months. If you can commit to 30 days, one week visualizing, second week going out and staying on the thing that you visualized on, the third week transforming and like physically trying to like maybe put yourself in that, like just walking up and trying to get a little bit closer to that. And then on week four, physically going off and like asking that question to try and get like a yes. I highly recommend doing this. Test it out for 30 days. Leave a comment down below if you did end up doing this thing at the end of the 30 day period. I'm just trying to help you. I want to help you become more personal, more confident, fitter, healthier, like stop being like so in your head because I've been there myself personally. And I know the trials and tribulations and how it feels to be in that specific situation. And I just want you guys to know that like, if you go out and put yourself out there into the world, lots of good things will start to happen. Wonderful. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. It's completely free. It's click of a button and I'll see you in the next video that we end up doing. And I believe it's going to be live. So you can check on that when that does end up coming out. Otherwise, I'll chat with you in the next one. Appreciate you staying through to the end. Love this. Just found an unopened Gatorade, G. Oh, yes. Oh, bro, that's a blue one too.